approximately one third of all births in India are of low birth weight and this is one of the most important reasons for newborn deaths and newborn admissions in India. Let us see about low birth weight in today's video. Hi friends, I am Dr. Karamat. This is Scientific Doctor channel. In this channel, every week a health related topic is discussed via a video. If you want to see such videos, subscribe to this channel. Also, press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications whenever new content is released. This week's video is about low birth weight. Whenever we say low birth weight, it just means a weight of less than 2.5 kilograms. But this is not enough. What we need to know is, is this birth weight appropriate for the gestational age? What is gestational age? Gestational age is the period from the first day of last menstrual period till the date of delivery. So how many weeks have this passed? So a normal term gestation means it is 37 completed weeks to 42 weeks. So for each week of gestational age, you will have an appropriate weight. As in biology, you will have a range. Between these ranges, it is considered normal weight. So if the weight of the baby is low for that baby's gestational age, you call the baby as small for gestational age or SGA babies. This will vary depending on the gestational age. So for preterms, obviously this SGA will be different. Even for terms, for a 38 weeks old baby, this weight will be different. For a 40 week old baby, this weight will be different. So it is not enough just that you say it is low birth weight less than 2.5. We want to know whether it is small for gestational age. Because preterm is an entirely different subject. I will deal with it in subsequent video. Today we are going to see small for gestational age. So this small for gestational age, why does it happen? This can be because of many reasons. Due to problems in the mother, due to problems in the present pregnancy, due to problems in the fetus. So problems in the mother so if the mother has an uncontrolled hypertension blood pressure or uncontrolled diabetes mellitus sugar or if the mother is severely anemic if the mother has other chronic diseases like kidney disease or liver disease all this will lead to insufficient blood supply to the baby from the placenta so this might lead to small baby Problems in the present pregnancy. So mother was not fed properly. Malnutrition during the pregnancy. This can lead to a small baby. If there are more than one fetus. That is if it is a twin gestation. The same nutrition is being divided among the two babies. So this might lead to small for gestational age. And if the mother has any bad habits. Like alcoholism or smoking. This might again lead to small for gestational age. Problems in the baby like any intrauterine infections that is infection happening to the mother during pregnancy which gets transmitted to the baby like Zika virus or cytomegalovirus or rubella virus all this can lead to small babies. Any birth defects in the baby especially if it involves the brain, heart or the kidneys this can lead to small babies. Any genetic abnormalities in the baby, this can lead to small babies. All this can be the reason for small babies. But whenever we say small for gestational age baby, a small baby, we have to identify whether it is symmetric or asymmetric. This we have to understand a little. Symmetric means the baby, the entire baby is small. Meaning the head circumference is small, the height or the length is small. The weight is also low. This denotes a problem very early in the gestation. So the entire baby is affected. Probably this can have long term consequences. Whereas asymmetric SGA or small for gestational age means the head circumference is preserved and the weight is predominantly affected. This means the baby was born or formed normally 
subsequently there was some problem in the later part of gestation so the brain is pad so that's why the head circumference is normal the weight alone is low these babies tend to do well once the baby is born out of the uterus and you give proper nutrition these babies tend to do well so whenever a baby is small for gestational age we need to assess the gestational age first properly assess the gestational age not only depending upon the mother's history also based on baby's examination we will properly weigh the baby we will plot it on the chart and we will know whether it is small or not and then we will classify it whether it is symmetric or asymmetric and if it is symmetric we need to identify the cause for this you might require investigations the doctors will do appropriate investigations including blood investigation sometimes imaging that is scans so depending upon the cause will be the prognosis for the baby the babies who are born small due to intrauterine infections and genetic abnormalities may have problems also in the later life for other babies who are born small due to transient problems during the pregnancy alone they will do very well the catch up growth will most of it will happen by one year maximum by two years so by two years they will be absolutely normal comparable to their peers without any long term problems if for any reason because of maternal or pregnancy issues the baby is considered as small or identified as small during antenatal checkups itself you need to consider this pregnancy as an high risk pregnancy and get treated at a higher center why you may have complications during birth and immediately after birth you may have difficulty in baby getting enough oxygen during the process and after the delivery called as birth asphyxia you might have problems immediately after the baby is born like the baby may not maintain its sugar values the sugar values may be too low called as hypoglycemia the baby may not be able to maintain the temperature leading to hypothermia the baby may be vulnerable to infections so all this may be problematic in small for gestational age babies so whenever we have identified a possible small for gestational age baby during the antenatal period itself consider this as a high risk pregnancy and plan for delivery at a higher center where facilities to treat the baby are available so whenever a baby is born small just don't think based on the weight alone do a proper assessment for its gestational age how is the baby is the baby within the range if the baby is outside the range if it is very low consider the reasons what are the reasons if these are remediable reasons if for some reason the mother's nutrition was not proper the baby is small the baby is going to do well once the baby comes out and it is fed appropriately so identify the reason for small for gestational age and plan and treat accordingly this was a short video on small for gestational age babies if you like this video share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye